But first, time for a Christmas edition of The Fastest. First up, holiday get-togethers are a prime location for asking embarrassing questions. A new survey says one in three people dread awkward conversations at family gatherings. Like, have you put on weight? Have you found a partner yet? When are you going to have a baby? And why aren't you married yet? <laughs> See, I'm always asking these questions, Jesse. By the way, I'm so glad that you came dressed in your holiday apparel. Thank you. So apparently you dress for talk shows on Christmas mornings and Christmas <laughs> afternoons. I do. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, are you the person who asks the awkward question? No, because everybody in this group is married, has babies, and is thin. So I'm not asking those types of questions. But the awkward question is the politics. Because they'll bring up January 6th at dinner. Oh, yeah, because you, you're, you're a family of libs. Libs, so yeah. that's where it gets awkward. Do they really bring that stuff? I figured that stuff's been done to death. Like, people just know not to talk politics. Well, after a few drinks, mm -hmm. it's tempting to talk politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you mean after you drink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what about uh, you, Dana? Has anybody ever asked you awkward questions? Uh, I, I suppose, I suppose, I'm trying to think. I, I'm the person who tries to run interference for somebody who feels like the question was posed to them is awkward. Right. Like, oh, she'll find somebody, I mean, maybe, you know, in 2023, <laughs> it'll be fine, and, you know, I just try to make them feel better. Oh, well, that's nice, yeah. Dana. You're such a nice person. See, I don't the do that. The awkward questions I get are usually about you. Yes, so. yeah, is he okay? Yeah, is he, what's, he what's wrong like? with Greg? What's wrong with Greg? That's what people, when I go, well, that's why I don't travel, they go, what's wrong with you? No, I, I, uh, Harold, you know, you probably, you're like the, the calming influence on every, look at you, you're calm right now. I'm actually, whenever I look at you, I feel as though I'm meditating. Um, <laughs> do people, I get, we don't, uh, my conversations are a lot like Jesse's. Uh, there's nobody, everybody's married, none of that happens, and I do, I don't have to run a lot of interference. I'm always with my kids, my kids are doing things, I'm up with them, they're young. Um, but everyone literally asks about this show. Your favorite, uh, your people are to Dana's point, very Jesse. curious about 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 Greg and how they want to know about your your show at, in the evening. Uh, they love Dana. Uh, Dana is kind of the glue in a lot of the people's minds that I uh, do the show with. And Jesse, I'm the oldest. Jesse's Jesse's Jesse. Yeah. And my, my my buddies, I tell you, but a lot of my pals, particularly my pals from in college, because I went to I went to college in Philly. Love you and my family members who are Eagles fans. Yeah, baby. So what you're saying is they're not very bright. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your friends who aren't very bright that went to a so-so college. <laughs> we, we, we joke a lot, but I'll tell you this. I have a lot of Democratic friends, and some of my family's 50-50, Dem Republican, um, and they love this show. They love you guys, as you all know. So it's a, uh, a Merry Christmas to everybody and a Merry Christmas Your to you guys Your house is like well. America. Mm. America. America. Exactly. Judge, uh, what kind of questions do you ask when you're there? Like, when did you get out of jail? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't ask that. Because I usually no. know I put them in jail. <laughs> and as I've said many times, I would have put you in jail. Yes. Um, I would have let you. Yeah. yeah. Um, what kind of questions do I get asked? They know I don't want to get married, mm. so that's the end of that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I guess they ask about the show. They ask about what's going on, stuff yeah. like that. And that's, you know, that's it. I usually am cooking. I'm usually running around doing yeah. the cooking. So You're the busy one. Yeah, I'm the busy one. I, may, I try to make something that everybody likes, their favorite I, by dishes. The way, I know that you don't want to get married, but that ring that you're wearing right now, that, uh, that is a stunner. Yep. Right yep. there. And Everybody you know what? <laughs> I'm not getting married either. Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> wow. I, I don't. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank All you. All right. That's the end of that. Now that I'm a dog dad, it's hard not to spoil this little guy for Christmas. Yeah, there he is. I was afraid they were going to show something else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nearly half of pet parents always get their furry friends something for the holidays, spending an average of 50 bucks on gifts, including toys, treats, and <laughs> clothes. Judge, you're, you've got like, yes. how many, you got two of them, right? No, I got three standard poodles. They all get gifts. First of all, they get costumes. But this is for you, isn't it? It's not really for the dogs. No, they, they hate getting dressed up. They yeah. absolutely despise it. Yeah. There they are, Red Ted and Stella. Um, okay. And Stella hates it when she gets dyed for the holidays. Um, but it's, and believe me, it's it's, it's innocuous, it's innocent. And I buy them bones and balls and stuff that they, they the thing is you buy them toys and they go outside, they want to take their babies with them. Bones so and the, balls, I used to dance there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> dance there, dance on, whatever. <laughs> uh, Dana, uh, what do you, you could actually talk about dime. what you're getting, Percy. I, I, he don't, does, I don't spend a dime on him. Mm. I don't, I let my sister do that. Oh, very good, <laughs> wow. Yeah, my sister, 
But she's, she's got like 17 cats, right? Three. Three well, rescue cats. After, <laughs> after two, it doesn't matter. And they are huge. But so she's, uh, she's very good at bringing him uh, or buying little gifts for him. Mm -hmm. She's got a whole stocking uh, that was ready to go. So he, he'll be set. He, mostly it's like any tennis ball or some sort of ball. He'll yeah. take it. Mm -hmm. Jesse, I bet you have a piece of advice about this. Well, Rookie's Jewish, so we, he, he doesn't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> oh, did you do the you get Hanukkah? <laughs> so, how many days is Hanukkah? Eight. 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 Uh, here we go. <laughs> no, I don't get him anything because he doesn't know it's Christmas. Of course not. So yeah. who cares? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Harold. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Harold. What about you and I, your adorable pets? I have three little ones. They're they're all um, they're all rescues, and they've got uh, that's Lulu, the little one uh, in the front, the little one in the back right, is Stormy, and the one on the left there is Bird. Um, bird. Bird. Look a birdie. I didn't see yeah. Bird. Yeah. 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 I mean, he stays. Bird, bird stays in my daughter's room. She doesn't come out very much. Mm. That's the two of them. That's those are two you saw most. Anyway, they got they just yeah. got new collars and new beds. Nothing. Nothing. They oh, celebrate new beds. Christmas. New yeah. beds. That's fun. Oh, that's yeah, those anti-anxiety beds. beds that are shaped like a big donut. Those things are amazing. Sometimes I you lie sleep in, in it. it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> a little snug for me though. The All right. beds for my dogs are so big. My grandson goes in one and he sits down. I said to Kiki, I'd love to get him one. Yeah. And then he comes out with fleas. That's what happens when you lie down with. Dogs. Yeah, you get it. All right, late. last one, I think. Finally, tis the season for festive fibs. Is your aunt aunt's turkey dinner dry and hard to swallow, but you still pretend it tastes great? Well, seven in ten people admit that they lie to their family if a holiday meal tastes bad. All right, Harold, you're kind of like the, you're the politician. You're smoother than chocolate milk on a winter day. I was wondering where you were going. I, 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 <laughs> Milk. I need chocolate milk. <laughs> what uh, do you? Uh, Wait, my mother, lies make the world go round. My mother-in-law and I make the turkey, and uh, uh, we 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 do we rarely dry. But I love sweet potatoes. So long as the sweet potatoes are fine, the sweet potato pie yeah. is good. Everything else is fine. Who made the cranberries? My, my mother-in-law. Oh, unbelievable! They were delicious. I'm always worried, Judge, when any meal comes from some kind of recipe from the home country. Oh, this is what from the home, <laughs> and it always tastes like a peasant's sock. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, but not at a relative's house. Oh, I can't. Well, no. I can't bring it up. No, it's uh, always God safe at a relative's. What? It's always safe at a relative's because you grew up in the same kind of food. Yeah, but yeah, they always put in the wrong spices. And then, oh you know, God, yeah. where do you go? Well, I usually I I go to well, you know where I go to the shelter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alone. I'm alone, Judge. You knew that. Yeah. Jesse? What, Greg? <laughs> you lie. A peasant sock. <laughs> no, my mom really cooks well. Yeah. And so I don't have to lie. Oh, that's good. Yeah. As long as there's one good thing to eat at the that's table, right. I'll be fine. Uh, I will say that we cooked the worst Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner, uh, last year. Somehow, the well, our, we, now, we've, now we know that our oven is broken. Mm. We both <laughs> undercooked and overcooked the turkey at the same time. So it was like Wait. not quite cooked in the middle and overcooked on the side. <laughs> oh. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.